Okay, um, this is session three, part three of the Redrum tutorial. Um, we've gone through the sequencer and, and um, a bit about sampling. Uh, just some of the finer points on the sequencer then to, to um, finish that off. Um, you'll see enable pattern section here and the, the pattern enable switch. They are really for if you if you don't want to use the sequencer you can control the redrum using um, a MIDI track in the in the main sequencer. I'll just flip quickly um, to that but in the sequencer we can set up a pattern selection and um, pattern enable will switch on and off uh, this um, MIDI gate recorder here and we can select the pattern uh, and that can get recorded as a channel but it's possible to going back to the rack to, to, to use the redrum with a, a, a MIDI sequencer um, so it's just uses a, a drum machine without using this pattern sequencer down here um, but that's for a, a future uh, tutorial on, on the sequencer itself so that, that's what those buttons do we won't go into the detail here but that they're, they're, they're so that you can um, control the redrum using um, other sequences or even if you want to other hardware uh, outside reason which can control this as a drum machine if you like um, what else haven't we covered the shuffle button here uh, okay let me just give you a couple of beats on a pattern um, let me stop that and so a few beats on a on a pattern. Now you can hear that has a, a a precise meter to it. The shuffle adds a swing to that, and that's controlled uh, ultimately using the regroove. Which again, I'm going to come on into more detail that that's a quick look at the the regroove uh, editor which is down in the in the transport the regroove mixer down in the transport section and you can set various parameters for the for the pattern shuffle but if you just uh, have a quick listen what it does is it changes a delay on the between the 16th and the 8th notes to give it a, a swing feel so if you can hear it's a slightly it's slightly delayed the 16th beat. Um, again, I'll come on to a bit more detail on how you control that in, in the regroove mixer in a future session. But that uh, gives gives the whole thing a, a more swingy feel to it. So let's put some. So if you've got that, that's quite a robotic sort of beat, very precise beat. Shuffle just gives it a bit of a swing feel by delaying some of the notes. And again, we won't go into the full detail of that. We'll come on to that in the regroup mixer. Um, <clears throat> flam. Flam is, if you like, a grace note. So let's just lose the kick drum. So you hear that snare drum flam is is like a, a little grace note just before the main beat so if i add that to that uh, i've clicked the flam uh editor on and then if you see the the little led before the notes that tells you when flam is is going to be applied so let's get into the snare sorry i'm in the wrong place so this is the the, the beat here if i add flam to that you can hear there's a slight grace note just before it now, and I control con can control the timing of that. So it's a very distinct grace note before, and even even more when it's almost not a flam, but 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 a separate beat. A flam should just really lengthen the note rather than add an, an extra syllable, if you like. Um, so just a grace note before if that is uh, lit 
then when I select a beat, it will automatically put a flam on. So you'll notice the LED there is is lit before it. So those two beats have a have a slight grace note before. If that is not lit, then when I select the beat, it will will just put the single on beat without the flam. I can actually add the flam just by clicking on the LED above it though. So there are different ways of applying that and it's a matter of preference really or, or where you are. Um, okay, if I go into the edit, um, I can clear patterns or copy patterns or paste patterns. So if I have a start off with a pattern in, in um, So let's start with the four beats. I can now go into the edit menu, copy that pattern, change to pattern A2, and then go back to the edit and paste the pattern. And it will just bring that pattern across. And I can bring whole banks of patterns um, for, for all the drums. And, and bring them over um, to to the several different patterns in, in the pattern bank, so it makes editing a lot easier rather than having to um, go through and mark out the individual pattern in each of, of these patterns. I can just cut and paste and copy and paste, uh, which makes the job a lot easier. Um, anything we haven't covered? I think. Just quickly while we're down here, I'll, I'll quickly talk what, in the time available. The high quality interpolation just it uses more processor power, but it adds a bit more um, uh, definition to the high high frequencies. So you may or may not want to switch that on depending on whether you. you, you I think processor power is not really an issue these days, uh, but it it doesn't make a huge amount of difference to the quality, but it just improves the high frequency ends if you have that high quality interpolation switched on. Channel 8 to 9 exclusive. These channels here, 8 and 9, are, are very often used to um, have uh, a hi-hat, so hi an open hi-hat and a closed hi-hat. Now, obviously, if you have a hi-hat in, in a real situation, you can't have the open hi-hat playing with the closed hi-hat. So this channel exclusivity allows uh, you t t to model that. So I could have... Um, this setup here. And they're exclusive. Let's just turn the open hi hat up there. So it's only playing the open and then the closed exclusively. If I switch that off, it'll play them both together. Okay, I hope you can hear the difference between those, but it's, it's really just so you can have um, a situation where you've only got one operating at a time when they're exclusive. And allowing them both to, to trigger simultaneously when that exclusivity is switched off. Okay, and um, we'll leave it there for now, and we'll come back and talk about these... Uh, knobs here and what they do in the fourth and hopefully final part of the redrum session. Thanks for listening.